This is our episode of John Derry from Xinjiang. And today, before our show, I would like to first send out an invitation to all our viewers to a colorful fairy tale world in this charming autumn. And in this episode, you will find yourself immersed in this very beautiful, glory, golden color. And also, it's not just golden color; it also with blues because it's is the desert, but also it's a white land park. So, welcome to this episode of John Derry and the beautiful autumn colors deep in the desert. And this is from Xinjiang. And once again, this is our special coverage of into Xinjiang. And today we are in Yuli County, and this is the Yuli National Wildland Park. So, we look at all these trees. These are the desert polars. And the desert polars in the autumn, especially right now, it's the late autumn here in Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. So the desert polars in this place recently turned gold, bringing vigor and vitality to the red desert. So we could see the flock of birds and we always talk about that because the whole ecological and environment improved a lot so this place actually right now is the one of the favorable stopover for the birds especially the migratory birds We talk about first a look at all these golden trees. So these trees are known as the desert polar. They say magical species that can survive in extremely dry and cold areas. In China, the desert poplar are considered to be able to live for a thousand years, then stand for a thousand years after death, and then still can stay imperishable for another thousand years. And there is a Desert Poplar National Forest Park is located also in Xinjiang on the Tarim River on the northeast border of Taklamagan Desert. And it is the oldest, largest, and most complete reserve for desert poplars in the world. So you could see that we have seen a flock of birds and are swimming in the river and also in this national wetland park wild animals actually have been observed such as swans black storks herons egrets yellow legged silver gulls green-headed ducks and other flocks of bird so once again this is the national wetland park in uli county and talking about Uri County, that's the official Romanized name, also transliterated from Mongolian as Lopner County. It's a place, it's a county in the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region and is under the administration of the Bangolin Mongol Autonomous Prefecture. It contains an area of 59,399 kilometers or 22,934 square meters. It has a population of over 107,487. So looking at this vibrant colors. So once again, looking at this is the live streaming picture from Lopler National Wetland Park. This is in Uli County of Northwest China, Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. In Mongolian, Lopner means water from multiple strands collected in the lake. Uh, 
and also from the a satellite image, the Lopner Lake resembles a person's ear. That is why this place also named Earth's Ear. So uh, normally in October, the a popular forest in Yuli County, northwest China Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region, turns golden, contracting with the blue skies above the Gobi Desert. And in recent years, the amazing scenery has become a hot tr travel or tourist destination. We talk about the name Yuli is also known as Lopnar, so this is place is also called Lopnar National Whiteland Park, located in central Xinjiang, Bangolo Mongol Autonomous Prefecture, in the hinterland. It's 520 kilometers from Ulmuski, located in the city of Korla. That's around 50 kilometers south to Korla. And to talk about this place, Yuli County includes seven townships, nine communities, and 50 administrative villages. And this place is particularly rich in mineral resources and tourism resources. The Yuli County, the administrative area is around 59,399 square kilometers. And for this National Wetland Park, it's located in the northeast of the scenic area. The whole place is a scenic area, and this is located in the northeast of this area, covering an average of 1,767 hectares. So it's a typical arid desert intrazonal wetland, including river wetlands, swamp wetlands, riverbanks, and other wetland types. So the purpose to construct this National Wetland Park is first to protect the existing wetland landscape and also to build a conservation area. And right now it's also play a role for educating the public. And the uh, Whiteland Park also with other purpose. So it's with the uh, Whiteland Ecological Protection and Restoration Place and also popular forest ecotourism and the a uh, wild animal and also wetland plants viewing and also the Whiteland Resources Education Center. From this angle, you can see it very clearly. Uh, it still have some green colors, but still the majority, besides the Gobi Desert, that's in color gold, and also the trees, the a poplar trees, right now is turning gold. So this is Yuli County National Wetland Park, covering an average area of 1,767 hectares. And here, that's the wetland. So it includes a lot of different types of wetlands. And also, we have seen flocks of birds and also the Gobi Desert.
And the Yuri County in Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region lies between the central to lower reaches of Tarim River and the northern edge of the Taklamagan Desert, and has around 12 million hectares of desert poplar forests. And we talk about each year in October, the poplar forest in Yuri County, as the northwest part of Xinjiang Uyghur Tunnels region, turns golden, contracting with the blue skies above the Gobi area. And recent years, this place also has become a very popular tourist destination. And the Tarim River, the longest inland river in China, is also the mother river that nurtures the oasis in southern Xinjiang, nourishing 12 million people in the basin. And starting from 2001, the government invested tens of billions of RMB in the comprehensive management of the ecological environment of the A Tarim River Basin. After more than a decade of unremitting efforts, now today you look at the river is full of water and also surrounding it or in the river we have seen the poplar trees. that also has brought vigor and vitality back to this place. So looking at, once again, this is the Yuli National Park, Wetland Park. And we talk about at least a couple years ago, the place is still a desert. And right now, we look at as far as the eye can see, there are already like the eight patches of poplar trees or poplar forests, lakes, and wetlands of varying sizes. And from time to time, we also can see flocks of wild ducks dotting the water and swimming in the water. And the local villagers told us that the eight places, this is the places they were born. And also many years ago, the, there were no water here and poplar forest, poplar trees all dried up and died. And the whole places actually just turned into the sandbags. And then looking at after all these hard efforts made, now the a poplar forest I've seen all these green colors and also we have these wetland resources that keep the a poplar forest will never dry it up. And the county, the Yuri County, is located in the northeast edge of the Taklamagan Desert. So every spring and autumn windy season, the sand and dust always go to the county place. So in 2017, the initiative was rolled out. to deal with the a desertification and also to build up around 1,000 acre acres of grass to block the sand 
and also the a local government also roll out different projects to improve the environment. And according to the local forestry bureau, the a official told us that they have built a, a many management stations. That's basically to observe and also monitor the whole progress of the a process and also monitoring the field. So right now we could see that it promotes the recovery of national vegetation back and we have seen a lot of grain back and also they expanded the afforestation and the a local people actually can feel it very obviously because that after all these improvement have been done the whole humidity of the air actually enhanced and it also helped to reduce the sands and dusts, and also improve the biodiversity of this place. And in recent years, with the continuous promotion of the ecological management of the river basin, we could see that a lot of land also gradually returned for the local herdsmen and also we have seen before the local herdsmen in these places So the a p local people, especially we talked to the Xinjiang Lochner National Wetland Park Administrator, and he told us that the a wetland park birds actually have seen an increasing numbers of birds, especially compared to previous years. And also we talk about that this right now become one of the a favorite place for the migratory birds to stop over. And we talk about the birds actually come this place I earlier and also have seen that the a flocks of green headed ducks, egrets, and swans. So they according to their records records a variety of birds actually have been observed here and also more than three thousand variety of birds have been observed and this number is keeping increasing every year to all the viewers if you're just tuning in with cgt new media right now you're looking at this is the live coverage from the cgt new media team and we bring you this joint dairy from Uri County, and this is the Uri National Wildland Park. And the local government worked really hard to 
to bring the water back, to bring the wetland back, to bring the poplar trees back. Before they also had poplar trees, but actually because there were no water in the places, so the tree all died. So right now you could see actually we have this large area of white land parks with all these poplar forest here. And also we have seen that in wild animals such as swans, black storks, herons, and yellow-legged silver gulls, green-headed ducks, and other flocks of birds flying here and making this place their favorite stop over or the place for replenishment. So this is once again the Yuli County National Wetland Park located in northeast of the Asinic area and we talk about the Yuli County also at the northwest of Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region and the wetland park covers an area of 1,767 hectares and it's a typical arid desert intrazonal wetland including a river wetland, swept Whitelands, dune lakes, riverbanks, and other types of whiteland. And the trees of desert poplar also are seen here in Uli County. And also we have seen before the a herdsman grazes sheep in a forest of desert poplar in Uli County. So looking at all these white lands, of course, it should first give the credit to the local government for their hard work. And also we need someone as well to manage and observe all the resources. So let me tell you a story. We talk about the whole territory actually needs someone to guard. So it takes time as Daimina to patrol this vast territory. And we talk about a person 46 years old named Ali managing as well these the a poplars. And also that brings a satisfaction of O of its own. So a limpid lake, a clump of trees, a tiny boat and a single person that consists of these live on the bank of a Tarim River and a desert region in the north west Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. And for the 46 year old forest ranger riding on a poplar made boat to inspect the a growing of poplar trees is part of his life. And the Uli County, where Ali lives, is located in the middle and the lower reaches of the river in north of Taklamagan Desert and is home to 533 square kilometers of poplar forest. A 520 kilometer long and 240 kilometer wide forest area has been managed by Ali and his colleagues for years. They are responsible for the management of these forests, which cover an area measuring 520 kilometers long by 240 kilometers wide from north to south.
So back to 1993, Ali graduated from a vocational school and became one of the rangers with an aspiration to change his hometown. And he has guarded the trees for almost three decades. Ali and his colleagues have to walk dozens of kilometers every day. We talk about the a natural poplar forest or the a wetland also has have a comp complex terrain that includes sands, wetlands, lakes. So in order to observe and understand the growth patterns of the poplars, Ali sometimes use a motorcycle to reach places that he cannot reach on horseback and when the terrain gets too difficult to reach by horse he continues on foot so where there is water he paddles his canal or canal and he's a man who can take control of all kinds of transportation and some people call him the amphibian, amphibious all-round ranger. So what a full-time ranger needs to bear in addition is the extreme weather conditions. So during the summertime, the temperature on the edge of the desert regularly exceeded 40 degrees Celsius. When it's when winter, and the temperature could drop below minus 20 degrees Celsius. The extreme conditions are a test of endurance that the forest rangers must bear. and the dazzling sunshine, annoying mosquitoes are all his natural enemies. So Ali always says that it's really hard. The job actually has a lot of difficulties, but I know the value of every poplar. I guard them and they guard my hometown. So in the past a few years, Xinjiang has stepped up its efforts to protect ecological environment and continuously transit water to the forest area, and which look at right now, they, Xinjiang has the largest poplar forest in the world. More and more poplar trees are being saved from destruction and rangers like Ali are playing an increasing important role. With the concerted efforts from the public sector and from the private sector, we look at right now all oh, these beautiful colors in front of us. We have seen the yellow, golden, green trees. These are the poplar trees here in Xinjiang, and also that trees grown in the white lines in the lakes. And also we have seen the flocks of birds here swimming in the water. And also don't forget the whole place is actually also in the desert. So this is the place actually in the Gobi Desert as well. So this place, think about this terrain, actually includes a lot of different types of the, the places but that also bring additional uniqueness to this white line park. Look at these beautiful autumn colors deep in the desert and also make this place a quite hot 
tourist destination over the previous years. You know how beautiful it is from this angle, these golden colors of poplar trees. I really hope our viewers could have a chance to visit this place because this is a must-go place here in Xinjiang because especially in this winter, the autumn season, this late autumn, you look at the color is very splendid. Once again, to all the viewers, if you're just tuning in with CGT New Media, this is our episode of Drawn Diary, and today we'll bring you this Drawn Diary from Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region, that's the northwest part of Xinjiang, and this is Uli County, and this is a very famous and popular place in Uli County, is Uli National Wildland Park. In October, the a poplar trace and the poplar forest in Uli County turns golden, contracting with the blue skies above the Gobi area. And we're looking at this place, Xinjiang Uli National Wildland Park, as has uh, was approved by the State Forestry Administration in 2015 as a pilot project with a total area of a, around 2,600 hectares. It is a typical arid desert, and also a typical arid desert with different types of the wetland resources, and including river wetlands, marsh wetlands, lakes, and river banks. It is a national wetland park, integrating ecological protection and restoration of Tarim River wetlands and ecological tourism, and also the abandoned resources of the poplar forest, and also the quite rich in wetland plants and wild animals. And this place is also an education center as well. So you could see actually in just one national park uh, that the desert, the, tar ri the Tarim River, the poplar trees, 
and wild animals, white land resources, all come get together in one park. I paint a colorful and gorgeous scenery here. And also, we talk about an earlier footage we have seen the wild animals. So here we talk about we have seen the a wild animals such as swans, black storks, herons. Grats, yellow lagged silver gulls, green headed ducks, and other flocks of birds, becoming a beautiful, flowing painting color here to highlight the whole place. And according to the local administrator, uh, the, this place is, is one of the a favorite place for migrated birds to do the replenishment and also we talk about we have been observed an increasing number of migratory birds coming to this park every year So talking about poplar trees, that's the uh, desert poplars. So these poplar trees always turn uh, gold in autumn and bringing vigor and vitality to the arid desert. So from this angle, you can see very clearly all different types of terrains here. We could see wetlands with the eight poplar trees and the desert as well. And we can tell it's a very vast place. So the poplar trees, known as the desert poplar, is a ma magical species that can survive in extremely dry and cold areas. So like Xinjiang, it's very dry and also extremely hot in the summertime. It could surpass in 40 degrees Celsius and extremely cold in winter times that could drop to minus 20 degrees Celsius. And the a desert poplar are considered to be able to live for a thousand years and then stand for another thousand years after death and then stay imperishable for another thousand years. So look at this, this is a big fist of colors. We have seen green, we have seen yellow, the golden colors, and the a green as well in the water and also the blue skies. And once again, you're looking at this is Uli County National Wetland Park, located in the northeast of the scenic area here in Uli County. And Uli County is at the northwest of China's Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. And the whole place is covered an area of more than 2,600 hectares, a typical arid desert intrazonal wetland. Here you can find different type, types of terrains and different types of water wetland resources. 
and the whole place is going to become a national level wetland park and for one of the purpose to protect existing wetland resources and also to build a conservation zone and also it's a education center as well. And on top of all these, right now, this is also a very famous tourist destination. Looking at all these golden colors, the greens, the red, the blues, all these remind us that we should cherish these hard-worn achievements. We know that local government spend a lot of money and spend a lot of efforts to restore all these back. The local government tried different ways to channel the water back. And also right now we could see these abundant resources. We can see the a forest, we could see the different types of wetland, and we also can see the a various flocks of the wild animals. So this value a lot to us. And especially this is actually on the Gobi Desert. So this is very amazing, isn't it? And as you could see that the whole place is quite well managed, so the tourists will not get too much involved in the a protected areas. And I believe this is also a very good eco-tourism. So this is our episode of Drawn Diary, and we'll bring you the beautiful autumn colors here in the desert. You can see the desert from this angle, and also we have white land, and also the golden poplar trees. Once again, this is our special coverage into Xinjiang. We bring you a, a different angles of Xinjiang or to let you know more about Xinjiang. So Xinjiang here, not only have the Gobi Desert. We look at here, this is a big combination of different types of terrain and also bring you a big fist of colors. So this is really like a fairy tale world in this charming autumn with so many beautiful colors here. And we will also leave you here, let you immerse a little bit more in this Uli County, the Poplar Forest and the Wetland National Park.
So please always stay tuned with CGT New Media. We'll bring you more episodes of Drawn Diary as part of a special coverage into Xinjiang. And once again, if our viewers do have a chance in the future, please visit this place. Once again, this is in Yuli County, Northwest Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. And especially in the autumn season, uh, the apopular trees turns golden, contracting with the blue skies above the Gobi Desert. And the CGT New Media teams ground themselves here in Xinjiang to bring you from different angles of Xinjiang and also to let you know more about the beauty of Xinjiang. And one of the traditional things we should do in Xinjiang is to ride a camel. So I will sign off here because I have a ride to do to join the team and please always stay tuned with CGT New Media and see you at the next episode of Join Dairy.